I'm Abby. Turn your phone off. <laughs> and that I'm... was actually it telling me that we were live. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I'm Lauren. Um, and we are here today to talk to you about our fall winter 2018 collection for American Data. So excited! Yay! Um, so just as always, heads up, we're live right now. We will not be live later. This will stay on our Facebook page. You can still watch it just like any other video that pops up on Facebook. And if you have any questions after we go off the air, which it's noon now, our time, so basically any time after like 12.30 uh, Pacific time, this isn't going to be live anymore. But you can still ask questions, leave comments, we'll respond, it'll be one of us, maybe you'll get lucky, and both of us will respond at the same time. With, with the same answer. With the same answer, or slightly different at answers. At least we're consistent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, so that's what's up. So today, yeah, let's get into the shoes. If you have any questions about the shoes, just go ahead and put them in the comment section. Um, we'll answer them as best as we can when we see them come up. Meemaw's got her glasses on, so she can read the teeny ass <laughs> All the way over All there! The, way, the frick over and there! And our horizon's like totally crooked yeah, and everything, it's too. It's a little wackadoodle today. Whatever. Um, it's, it's Friday. Friday. <laughs> it's Friday. Um, hi, Eliza. So, hi, everybody. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Uh, first things first, we are doing restocks. Mm -hmm. uh, we are doing restocks of our super duper popular shoes. Uh, so Pompadour in white. So all of y'all who've been patiently waiting for Pompadour to come back in stock, it is back. These are actually going to be here really soon Real because quick. we're... Uh, Theaters love these, yes. and we've been out of stock for a while, so and we're we actually having theaters. these flown here yeah. rather than sea freighted. Um, so mm -hmm. they're going to be here within the next couple of weeks. Whoop, whoop. Yay! Uh, mm -hmm. So if you want these and you want them quickly, uh, you should order them because we usually sell out of these mm -hmm. in the fall mm -hmm. uh, because of offers in theaters and, mm -hmm. and whatnot. We move quickly through this. And by the way, hi Sam. Hi. Got here. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're back in stock. We also still have black pompadours in stock, so that's mm -hmm. no biggie. Yep. But if you've been waiting for the white ones, we got those in stock. They're so beautiful. There they are. All nice and lovely. Um, hey, uh, yeah, hey. Western Seamstress. <laughs> Shayna. Um, so we got those back in stock. We got Frasers in black back in stock. Now these have had some adjustments, some, some changes. Adjustments. So. Customer feedback on the first run mm -hmm. of Frasers was that the lining material frayed. So we've replaced the lining with leather. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is our regular leather, you know, tan leather lining. So you're going to get nice clean edges there. Yes. Uh, and it's it's uh, it's lovely. It's so great. you're going to like them. So and it still frasers. has the nice soft toe box, right? Yes. Yes. I love that. I think they look so nice. Yeah, they do. <laughs> They're a really great shoe for yeah. like 1700 to 1760. So if you're yeah. doing... French and Indian War, you're doing mm -hmm. Outlander, like this is, well that's why we named them Fraser, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because we're, yes, <laughs> we're real subtle. We're real subtle. So these are coming back in black, but not ivory, so no. just black for these. Okay. Yep. Um, so oh, yeah, these. I was going to say, we're since since we're talking, you're talking, since sure. we're talking about these naked latchet yeah. shoes, how about some new buckles? Yay! Ooh. So floor buckle is back in stock, and we have it not only in silver, but in gold as well, Yay. so it's super smexy. You might think these look a little like, whoa, um, in my hand, because they're very gold, um, but they actually look really, really cool on the shoe. Yeah. Um, it's not as like, ah, <laughs> gold on the shoe, yeah. so lovely little little gold bits there. And then my new personal favorite is the Trianon. There's nothing petite about it, but bam, <laughs> rhinestones, Much sparkle. Yeah, so much sparkle, yeah. has a nice, sturdy feel to it and it's a real simple shape so if you just want some sparkle 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 rolls like subtle like you don't want a lot of that's a lot of sparkle it's a lot of sparkle but yeah. it's not a lot of if you want design, subtle if that makes sense we've restocked for the first time in years <laughs> the dauphine buckles these are lovely yeah. just a little bit of bling um they're very discreet <laughs> kind of beautiful buckle this is one of the first buckles we ever did so we have a full restock of Dauphine, Fleur and Silver, New mm -hmm. Fleur Gold, Trianon, Brand and new. both colors of Cavendish buckles are Yay! back. So full, ready to go, mm -hmm. full everything. We have so many buckles. I know. Did you know that I always purchased Dauphines from y'all when I bought shoe buckles? You did? Yeah. Oh, I did. Oh, Dauphine. I always bought Dauphine. Dauphine. Cool. So, so that's, that's the 18th yeah. century stuff. New Fraser's new buckles. Yeah. Also, Kensington's in colors are on the way. We, we don't have a lot of extra stock of those because 
drama. Uh, <laughs> but we are going to have a few pairs. Yeah. Uh, we'll let you know when they're up. They're not there now. No. We'll, we'll let you know when they're up. Yeah. So we want to make sure everyone who did the pre-order is sorted out first, and then we'll move on from there. So, yeah. But we're... We're just as eager for their arrival as you are. And yes, oh my god, we get to show them the, the holes. We do. Oh my god, the holes. So we've also <laughs> restocked Renoir in black um, for for this fall because this, this beautiful boot was super popular. We have done some adjustments on the ankle here, yes. so you see a, a much more nicely fitted ankle. Uh, if you all have a little bit on the thicker ankle side, like your girl over here, um, the one girl who's never sprained her ankle in her life. <laughs> I've tried. I fell off a tree once. I didn't sprain my ankle. I don't know what's going on. Um, it fits beautifully. It's very comfortable. But, y'all, we fixed the buttonholes. So over time, <laughs> our buttonholes seem to get smaller and smaller. And so we've sort of caught that now. And we've made some adjustments to the size. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, the there size of it. these buttonholes. And also... I know over the years we've, with the button boots, it's been a question of do we put the buttons on elastic, do we not because they didn't, um, yeah. and we've decided we're going to put them on elastic because it really, really helps yeah. with fit and getting the boots off too. <laughs> so we were having issues with getting our boots off. Yeah. Uh, so now we have a nice, easy way to get the boots off. It's so satisfying. It's so much easier than it was. So these are 33 millimeter buttonholes. Look at that guys. They are not tiny. Uh, and these are on elastic. Mm -hmm. Now if you need to move these buttons that probably means they're all gonna have to come off again but again they're not hard to move and we have tutorials on that if you want mm -hmm. a tighter fit or you need a looser fit. Very accurate thing to yeah. do. That's what they did. If you look at original shoes from the time period, you will see stitch holes because they yep. moved the buttons. Every so. pair of button boots we have in our, our little mm -hmm. museum mm -hmm. archive has uh, those marks yeah. on it for where they let the buttons out. And you don't even really need like good needles or anything. I totally moved buttons on Astoria's using a hotel sewing kit once. Yikes. They're still there. Yeah. So it's fine. Decent. Yeah, mm -hmm. a seam ripper, a, a needle, a leather needle, a thimble, you know, it's yeah. a pair of pliers. It's not it's not hard. Or just a janky yeah. hotel sewing kit. And needle. if you if you happen to have one of those cool and, and we have a pair of these um antique button setting tools, you can use those too. Yeah. Oh what is that? I did a I did a blog post on it once. She's not I'll link to it. I'm fascinated. Anyway. Because <laughs> everybody has one of those. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> Right. Um I, so in addition to Renoir having the, those refined buttonholes, um, these also Yay. have Are the refined buttonholes. Refined buttonholes. So yeah. this is Tabby 2.0. Tabby 2.0. Um, so we know how much you all loved Tavistock, the first button boot ever created by American Duchess. Um, but we wanted to fix some things on it um, and revamp it. And Revamp. <laughs> <laughs> and so now Tabby is back in stock. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I had to throw that tongue back in. Um, so it is the, it's lower, so it doesn't go as yeah. high. There's no elastic on this one. <gasps> Look, Ma! No elastic! Yay! So if you're worried about calf or anything like that, don't. Yeah. It doesn't go up to your calf. Um, mm -hmm. It does cover your ankle, but it doesn't go up to the calf. If you've been a fan of Manhattan's, but you didn't like the canvas upper, we got you, boo. Yeah. Uh, They're the same height as, mm -hmm. as Manhattan's. So where there's... There's fewer buttons, but the reason we had that elastic inset, for those of you who remember, was because it, it the Tavistocks had an issue fitting at the bottom of the calf muscle. And so mm -hmm. we did the two calf sizes, which uh, was seemed like a good idea, but business-wise it actually wasn't um, because it took us for flipping ever to sell through the wide calves particularly. Mm -hmm. So we decided to skirt that issue by doing a better ankle fitment and a shorter boot so that they should fit more people even if you have mm -hmm. fat, mm, uh, wider <laughs> uh, ankles and don't make fun of my calves <laughs> broader <laughs> ankles and uh, legs <laughs> these should still fit and you can let the buttons out or you can take the buttons in same as before yeah yeah so that's pretty much it yeah well um, we got leather soles on these two and um, yeah leather soles these and are God, that feels, it's like so satisfying to hear that. Ah! Um, but these do have, the new Tavies do have a pre-order price, so you can get $20 off of yeah, them. Because they're totally new. Because they're brand new. Even though they're Tavi 2.0, they're still brand new. Renoir, Pompadour, and Fraser do not have the $20 discount because they're just restocked. They're just restocked. Um, however, 
with how popular they are, and we we saw y'all order those Renoirs <laughs> when you all got the email of the restock. Um, yeah, just yeah, they're already pre-order now, so that way you know you're going to get your size um, and get them shipped out to you right away. But yeah, Tavies are on discount, $179 at pre-order price. Regular yeah. price is $199. Yeah, which is a screaming deal because Tavistock's used to be $230. Whew! Uh, That's so a lot of leather. With leather soles, and I mean, we've, yeah. we've made the changes. They are better, I think, um, but they're also cheaper. So, <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. So, Wait. do we go back in time real fast? And then move forward know. in time? It's the moment you've all been waiting for, which is where we talk about the new stuff. Yeah. Yeah. The things let's, you don't know about. Let's start. All right. Let's we'll start go with, forward in time. We'll go, yeah. Let's yeah. Start with Amelie. No, Amelie. No. <laughs> Vienna. Vienna. <laughs> Whatever. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, so Vienna is our new mid-Victorian offering, Civil War era, uh, Congress boot with a bow on it. We put a bow on it. We put a bow on Yay! it. Yay! Birds were not allowed, so we did a bow. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, for those of you wondering, these bows are stitched on, not glued. So you can take that off. Just clip it off. You're gonna have a couple of scars there, but you just polish with a matching shoe luster cream or mm -hmm. shoe wax, and we have those in the accessories section. Yes. And you won't ever even know that that bow is there. Yes. If you hate bows, you're not you're you're not into it. Just your anti bow. Off. Yeah. Anti bowlem. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, <laughs> these are accurate for about 1850 all the way to, through to the 1880s. Yes. One question we've had is about the elastic. Is that historically accurate? Why, yes, yes, yes it, it is. is. So, Congress boots like this, um, mm -hmm. the elastic came in in the late 1840s. Congress boots were noted as being incredibly popular. They were much beloved mm -hmm. by Queen Victoria, and they stayed in fashion all the way for several mm -hmm. decades. And funnily enough, they're still in fashion today. Yep. Awesome, that's some longevity. Our boot has the 1.5 inch Victorian reproduction heel. It has a softly squared toe with no toe box. These are super, super mm -hmm. cool and very comfy and very, very cute Yes. for Civil War. If you're a Civil War reenactor, this is your day shoe. Mm -hmm. They come in this lovely brown and black. That's about as close as we can get to a bronzed brown. Uh, and they come in black, so mm -hmm. we've got you covered. Yes. Uh, the other nice thing about these is you can put them on and mm -hmm. there are no ties, so mm -hmm. your boots can't come untied. And there are no buttons mm -hmm. to do up. You just pull them on. Yes. Boots before corset. Yes. You're done. It's easy. <laughs> it's very easy. And that's why the loops are here. Um, for anyone who is into horseback riding, equestrian, thinking about how these fit compared to paddock boots, um, at least with the paddock boots that I own, these these have more room up here. So it's not that struggle bus with like a new pair of paddock boots where you're like rolling around on the floor trying to get them on your foot. <laughs> and you're like, oh my God, I'm dying. No, they slide like right on. And there is going to be room up here. Um, but they fit really, but they well, fit really here. well here. So they've got a so. nice strong heel counter. Mm -hmm. And they're very well fit through the vamp and yeah. here as well. So they, they're not sluicy goosey. They don't no. flop around. No, they don't flop around. Um, but it is also bad. something like, obviously, with the elastic, they're really easy to get on and there's a lot of room for gift. So, again, if you're concerned about calf or anything like that, you don't have to worry about this. It's good stuff. It's good I stuff. personally love these. I didn't think I was really going to like these mm -hmm. that much until I put them on. We have a question from uh, Ian. Uh, can we see the Vienna on a person? I would love to put these on right now, but I can't really get my foot above my Hold head. On. Are you? Gonna I'm gonna try to not. These, well, are, these are seven, seven and, and a half. half. So I don't know where the nines are. We'll do some photos of them on like so it. that you can see, because you do you do kind of need to see. Yeah. Well, really, all of these on. Okay. If anybody has any questions, go ahead and write them in the comment box. We are live. We're gonna answer them live. Mm -hmm. Anything at all. Uh, fire away. So those yeah. are the Vienna and my little joke is because we were gonna call these Alexandria Which was too long and I thought no, we should call them Vienna because they're Congress boots <laughs> <laughs> Congress of Vienna <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I had to say that out loud <laughs> Oh, anyway. Sorry, I made an I antebellum chuckle. pun. I chuckle every time. Anyway, Congress of Vienna Right. All right, sweet. What's next? I guess we're gonna have to do the, well, the Smexy boots next Yeah, technically. Well, we can leave them till the end and taunt you guys. Let's do let's do May next. Let's do May. Okay. May! May. Um, so May comes in one colorway, but depending on her popularity, we're we're hopeful to bring her out in more colors. Uh, next maybe next year, next spring this or something. It's really so hard to see in black. Really <laughs> hard to see. Um, so she is suede on smooth leather, so it's a nice little subtle detail. And guys, this strap that goes across the foot 
is gorgeous. It's lovely. It's so beautiful on the foot. It's very flattering. This is our Moliere Last in Heel, so that's a 2.2, that's a two and a quarter inch heel. Um, so very comfortable to wear, and it does have the pointed toe. Yeah, now you can see it. So if you found uh, Moliere to be very comfortable, you'll find May to be very comfortable as well. And by the way, she's named after my great great aunt May, and she I have was, an aunt May too. Yeah, and <laughs> my aunt May was a very good seamstress and sewer, and she won competitions in county and state fairs for her buttonholes and darning ability. And whenever we have bad sewing problems, or I do, I always ask Aunt May to come and help because she's really good. I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought we named them after the character in Mr. Selfridge, but okay. No, I was like, yeah, hey! <laughs> was and she was alive at this time. So. These are extraordinarily elegant, you guys, and they mm -hmm. are a true reproduction, and we'll share that original reference here in a bit. Yeah. Um, I love these shoes, and I love this heel. Mm -hmm. and those of you who are wondering about the comfort of the heels, I have to keep reiterating, French heels, there's a reason that they were worn by women for hundreds of of years is they have a totally different balance than a modern heel. Mm -hmm. So you see how this heel comes in at the back and it doesn't go straight down? That's your balance under your foot's center point, at the at the heel of your foot. That's going to keep your spine in alignment as opposed to a modern heel that comes straight down at the back, pitches you forward. Yeah. These are so comfortable, I can't even tell I'm wearing heels. No. And they're two, two and a quarter, so 2.25 mm -hmm. inches. So quite low, really. Yeah, quite low. Very, very comfortable. And it flares out at the bottom there, so it's very stable mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. You're going to love these. Yes. Beautiful. And these we love are them, made. too. They're on sale for $140. Yes. Regular $160. Yes. So don't miss these, because they're gorgeous. No! Ah! Mm. <laughs> and next, I think this is actually like our little pet shoe that we love. These. Yeah. Um... <laughs> The shoe's name is Theta. Theta. After Theta. 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 But truly, <laughs> the real name is Skeletor. <laughs> because look at them. They're rib cages, guys! They look like bones! <laughs> Yay! Bone shoes in bone color! So the funny thing about these shoes is that even though we came up with the name Theta, Theta, I don't know. Theta Barra. Yeah. They're, yeah, because they're kind of vampy. Yeah, because they're vampy. <laughs> we, the working name has always been Skeletor, and so <laughs> I, I shit you not, guys, I cannot tell you how many times I asked Lauren what the hell the name of these shoes. <laughs> I have to think about it for and a And then, moment. like, she'd be like, uh, I'm like, it's not Skeletor, <laughs> like, we can't actually call this Skeletor, can we? And then she's like, uh, Theta, they're Theta. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Uh, so... They're, they're a reproduction. Yeah. They're a straight up repro. Yeah. Our version of a repro. Wait, our version is a repro. Yeah. Our version yeah. of a Pierre Yantorni shoe. You can find um, multiple uh, colorways of this in the mm. Met. Yes. They have the black and they have the ivory. They were made in about the 1920s. So these worked from 1900 to 1925 or mm -hmm. so when these heels were still in fashion. And yes. they are like, Yantorni shoes do purposefully look like like a rib cage uh, mm -hmm. with a spine, like yeah. the laces make up a spine. Our laces are more kind of like normal, normal. Um, but we do have the the little riblets here. <laughs> <laughs> what is the rib cook off this weekend? Yeah, it I mean, come along. Could, like, it's our it's our interpretation of a big riblet. <laughs> And uh, they look really, really cool yeah. on the foot. Um, we love these because they just have that. They are they are a true historical reproduction, yeah. so they're definitely HA. Um, but okay. they're also Those super cool. vampy for if you're into like goth dress, gothic dress, mm -hmm. goth Lolita, uh, or any kind of mm -hmm. Lolita really, and you want that little bit of something, something that's a little bit weird. Here you go. Mm -hmm. I mean, these shoes are so so cool. Yeah. I think they're just interesting and lovely and historically accurate for Edwardian Great War and early 1920s. Which is like what we're currently obsessed with for our soon-to-be fall wardrobes. Yes. If only the weather would actually cooperate with it us. It was a little nippy this morning. It was. It was a little it bit was. chilly. You didn't have to walk the puppy at 5 a.m. Ooh. Ooh. 5.45. <laughs> so this is also the Moliere last in heel. It's yep. the two and a quarter here again with the French heel and the pointed toe. So, so elegant. Yes. You're gonna love these. They're on sale for $145 right now. Uh, mm -hmm. That's your $20 pre-order discount. Yes. Regularly, they're gonna be $165. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Bye, Skeletor. Okay. The moment you've all been waiting for. Smexy boots. Smexy boots. Smexy boots. Smexy boots. boots. Smexy boots. Smexy boots. They look like they're both black from back here. <laughs> they do. <laughs> Can you hold that one up? Yeah. It still looks black. It still looks kind of black. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. There, there we go. go. 
Yay, Velveteen, Yay. sucking in all that light. Um, these are Camille. Yay! We've been um, kind of shouting from the rooftops about Camille, because we're so excited about They're them. They're named after Camille Clifford, of course. Uh, they are curvy, they are sexy, they are a reproduction. Again, this is a real design from mm -hmm. the Edwardian period. So yes. 1900 to 19, or 1890 with that toe. Yes. 1890s or so to 1925 again. Um, and I just think these are the most amazing. They are so the sexy, guys. Gorgeous boots. Like, oh, they're so awesome. Beautiful. So mm -hmm. velveteen, right? It comes in black. It comes in a really difficult to see burgundy because it's kind of dark us. in here. This um, isn't black right now. It's, it's burgundy. burgundy. <laughs> uh, with the smooth leather I see it. I and I all of these eyelets lacing yes. up, there are no zippers in these, nope. which you might think is kind of a pain in the butt, but if you want that mm -hmm. true historic uh, experience, they <laughs> laced up their boots yes, and does. shoes. Now we went around the mulberry bush how many times getting the fit on these? Oh my gosh. Wow. How many samples there's, of these do we have? There's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot. There's a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason is because we wanted to get that fit in the shank here mm -hmm. nice and tight on the leg. Mm -hmm. uh, so what that means is we have a very curvaceous ankle. Now these have a flat in them, so a very curvaceous ankle. Yeah, I think this is still like, this is like mm -hmm. round two or round. Yeah, that's an old Is sample. that the final? This is the final. Yeah. Um, that silhouette back there you don't often get in modern boots. They want to make them straight, but that is what creates the best fit around the ankle and then up the calf. We also have a three and a half to four inch, depending on your size, mm -hmm. tongue in here, which means that you can lace these open quite a lot. Yes. Now the biggest question we've had about Camille or what are the measurements? The measurements shift depending on the size. So mm -hmm. if you're about a seven and a half, which is what I am, so that's pretty, almost smack in the middle, then your, your measurements are, and I've wrote them, written them on a post-it note, um, the top is, and this is without the tongue, this is edge to edge, okay? So factor in your tongue measurement in here too. Um, the top is 11 inches around or 27.9 centimeters. The ankle is nine and a half inches, 24.1 centimeters. The tongue is three and a half to four. Um, Abby's is wider because she wears a nine and a half. Mm -hmm. The shank, which is from this point to the top here, is eight and a half inches. And that's all on the website as yeah. well. If you're wondering, are these gonna fit? Yeah. They're supposed to fit tight. Yes, They're they are. They're supposed to not rumple mm -hmm. and wrinkle. Mm -hmm. So so yeah, um, so what that means is that if you wear a larger size, so, okay, so like here's the deal. We know how a nine and a half fits, and we know how a seven and a half fits. We don't know how a 10 fits or an 11 or an eight and a half or, or an eight or a six or a six and a half because we don't have those shoes yet. So we can't take those measurements. So what we can give you guys is how the seven and a half fits for Laura and how the nine and a half fits for me. I do not have, as we've already clarified, <laughs> dainty lady legs. Um, yeah, but I don't. You have a low instep and yes. and and not dainty lady legs, and yes. I have a high instep and, and sparrow legs. Yes. So getting a boot to fit us both, I feel is kind of, uh, it will cover most people. It will cover most people. Um, one of the questions that we got a lot of is, will it fit my calf? One, this boot doesn't go up to the fullness of your calf. If you have short, stumpy legs like me, it will go up and touch the bottom of your calf and before the fullness, so right when it's starting to curve up. Yeah, um, which you see in the way this yeah, flares how that sh how that is shaped. I laced my, like that part of my calf was 15 and a half inches and I had about a quarter of an inch on either side of the tongue left over. So just to kind of give you guys a heads up, that's where it sits. My ankle, I think is around like 10, 10 and a half inches or something. But like Lauren said, I have a really low instep. And so one of the reasons why we work so hard on this fit is because while the shoes always fit Lauren's high instep really well. I couldn't actually get the shoes tight enough around the top of my foot and my ankle that I felt secure in them. So it required a lot of really interesting changes um, and really like scooping that ankle out, even though I don't have a tiny ankle, to make the difference between my vamp and my ankle to make mm -hmm. it secure. And so now it is secure. So this boot should fit a lot of people. Yeah. Um, but but yeah. As as always, we don't know what your feet and ankles and legs look like. The best way to know if they're gonna fit is to try them on. Mm -hmm. If you're in the US and you wanna try these, we do free exchanges and we have really cheap returns for cash or free returns for a store credit. Yeah. So it's worth 
trying them on to see how you feel. Same thing about the three inch heel. Yeah. And it, it is a three inch heel on yes. these. But it's a French heel. Yeah. Remember what I said about French heels? Look at that balance. They don't come down from the back mm -hmm. of the foot. So often we have a lot of complaints about, I can't wear three inch heels. My feet always hurt. Are you wearing French heels? Are you wearing American Duchess French heels? Because we've worked really, really hard on making the balance mm -hmm. right on these. They should be very comfortable. Mm -hmm. I wore um, the first version of Camille at Costume College, and I wore them all night, and we walked around. We were on pavement. We were on grass. And we were the, in hotel. And it's the first time you'd ever put those and boots on. it's the first time I'd ever put them on, and they were super comfortable, and I kind of forgot that they had a three-inch heel on them. I forgot that I was wearing heels. Like, I was fine. Like, I wasn't dying from, from my feet hurting or anything like that. I was mostly worried about knocking someone out because of the giant hat. UFO <laughs> on my head. Uh, <laughs> but, but, yeah, it's, they were super comfortable, even though they're not, they weren't their best version yet. Yeah. Um, so, so, and yeah. And they're even better now. Yes. So, we have a question from Mary who says, when can we expect delivery of, of the new boots? So, mm -hmm. everything except for white pompadours is going to show up around, what did I say, mid-October? Yeah, it's like mid-October ish. So we're wrapping up production now. Hopefully before you go on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> probably right when I go on vacation. Um, they're going to be loaded into the container um, probably around the second week of September or so. And they take about mm -hmm. five weeks to get all the way over here and through customs mm -hmm. and up on the truck and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Um, so we're looking at about mid-October. Mid yeah. yeah. And so, yeah. And then. Uh, We'll be getting them out to you guys as soon as possible. Yeah, we ship pretty fast. We break down break down that container. So um, long as someone, so long as someone is, is here, here to do it. <laughs> We're all bailing. If in, anyone like, wants vacation. to come home and pack boxes, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, Lauren says, Lauren Dearborn says, there is nothing so sexy as a well-fitted boot, and it sounds like you engineered these. Uh, to really fit a wide range of sizes. Bravo, ladies. Thank you so much. We tried really hard again. I think we maybe did seven samples from concept to now yeah. to get that fit absolutely right. And yeah. what we found, and this is so funny, what we found is really the closer and closer and closer we got to original Victorian boot measurements, the better they fit. The better they fit, even for the wider legs and the skinny legs. And or the <laughs> high arch and the, and the low, low arch. arch. Or, you know, the, I, I have, like, nothing for ankles. Um, interestingly, when you look at a Victorian boot, or even, like, the original of these boots... Um, Which, they're on our Instagram pa page, yeah. and a bunch of people thought that those were our boots, even though... Don't I wish. Uh, yeah, they're not. <laughs> but you, you have all that adjustability, but you need the shape of the pattern on each, on each side, you know, here and here, to have this almost extreme, and this, it could even be more extreme, almost extreme curve here, mm -hmm. um, to get an accurate fit over your, your foot and mm -hmm. your ankle and your leg. Yes. Otherwise, you're going to always be baggy saggy and you won't be able to pull that in. No one so, wants baggy saggy. As it turns out, when you're doing historic reproductions, following the original shoes, um, and there's some constraints on that, but following the original shoes more closely is probably a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Smexy Boots, guys. Smexy Boots. Uh, they're one ninety nine regular, so they are on sale for one seventy nine, which is a steal of a deal. That's a screaming price, guys. Um, so so yeah, that's that's what we got. And yeah, again, no zippers. They just lace up. Um, I usually lace mine down about halfway to what's that thing called? There's, on the a, tongue? there's a keeper. A so keeper. your tongue doesn't shift around. I, I unlace completely down to the keeper, and then I loosen everything up, pop my shoe on, then I lace back up again. So you don't have to take it off the whole way. Um, we had someone ask, and I, or she's up now, about the measurements for a nine and a half. I will come back and, and answer that uh, in writing. Um, or or if you just want to wait till we're done, you can go back and replay it, because literally I, I said that I think about five minutes before you asked the question. Mm -hmm. um, but I can come back and type that in. So Rachel asks, how long will they be sold for? So... Pre-order has started yesterday. It goes through September mm -hmm. 20th. Yes. Uh, that is our pre-order period in which mm -hmm. you get a $20 discount. Happy days. Yes. Um, so that's that's your lovely incentive. Mm -hmm. But after we close that, you can still order. You're just not going to have your $20 discount. But you're still going to get free shipping over $165. Mm -hmm. You're going to be able to use Easy Pay. You're going to have your free exchanges and returns for store credit in the U.S. or the cheap returns for cash. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it goes until they, they're, they're, they're gone. gone. <laughs> uh, we have 200 of each of these mm -hmm. 
each color and each style on the way. Mm -hmm. um, that is not a lot of shoes, especially for something like this. Mm -hmm. um, last year when we did Colette boots, uh, some of you guys will remember they sold out before they even arrived. Yeah. And so something like this that's popular for Lolita, Goth, mm -hmm. Steampunk, historic reproduction, mm -hmm. historic it's reenactors. It's like the best fall shoe ever. Uh, Halloween. I mean, yeah. screaming. Uh, just modern wear. These yeah. are super cool. Um, we don't expect these to last long, mm -hmm. so I wouldn't wait, and you get your $20 discount, so order now mm -hmm. between uh, now and September 20th. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Western Seamstress uh, asked if a size 7 is the same as a 37. I think that's actually a 38, because a 40 is closer mm. to a 9, and so that means a 38 would be, a 39 would be closer to an 8, and a 30, no, 38 would be closer <sighs> to a 7, and a 37 would be closer to a 6. European shoe sizes and American shoe sizes yeah. are difficult. Um, um, the size chart on our website has an interesting graph that sort of shows the overlap between the U.S. sizes UK and mm -hmm. EU. Uh, for EU, there is no direct um, correlation it's really difficult. between U.S. Mm -hmm. and e EU sizes. Yeah. So pick the boot size or the shoe size based on do you like a tighter fitting shoe or do you like a looser mm -hmm. fitting shoe. Yeah, I mean, like my rule of thumb, especially when, when I lived in, in Sweden... Uh, when I was trying to buy shoes, which was impossible, um, because I am basically a true nine and a half, which means a 41 was usually too big and a 40 was usually too small. Um, is I like to correlate them to whole sizes, but again, if you have a wider foot, it's going to be different. A Swedish like 37 is going to fit differently than like a French 37 is going to fit. So there, the EU shoe sizing thing and the US shoe sizing thing is a bit wackadoodle. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's a little tricky. Now, mm -hmm. speaking of EU and UK, uh, we do have our wholesale uh, <laughs> partners are also running pre-order. Uh, so Rags and Jags for the UK is selling um, some of our styles, and La Rose uh, Passementerie is selling the entire collection yes. right now for the same time period. Mm -hmm. uh, you can order through Sherry at La Rose Passementerie. And if you're worried about the returns and all of that within the EU, then and, and taxes and shipping and all of that, it's better mm -hmm. to go through either Jalea at Rags and Jags yeah. or Sherry at La Rose Passementry. Um, someone, Kenna asked, can we post more photos of them being worn? Um, I assume you're talking about Camille's, sure. Or any of them. Any of them. Yeah. We might as well just do like pop on our stories and we can pop it on our Facebook of us trying the shoes on. Okay. Or we, we can go out and take some pictures. Yeah. This evening. Or something. Or something. I was just sure. thinking we just do it here since yeah, it's it pretty here. quiet today. <laughs> um, and then Megan asks, how many extra inches could you realistically add to the top of the tabby by shifting the buttons without okay. making them look funky? So you have about, between where the button is here and there is about, I would say that's an inch and a quarter, an inch and a half mm -hmm. or so. So you can let those out all the way to the mm -hmm. edge. Um, you're going to have an overlap of about about a quarter of an inch. And I do have Victorian, original Victorian boots where the buttons are on the mm -hmm. edge. Um, now that being said, what happens when you do that is that your center seam um, goes off center. Um, again, it's completely accurate for that to be the case. Victorian, original Victorian boots were made small and they mm -hmm. were let out. That's why you yeah. see so many of them like that. Very seldom were they taken in. So we've sort of split the difference uh, for modern sizing and you can take these in quite a bit you can let them out that's really the only thing that's going to change is that center seam there how much do you think you can take them in gosh oh my gosh you can take them in so much you can just take them in for like oh that's at least an inch no that's it that's like that's an more inch. that's like an inch and a half so you can take them in quite a bit mm -hmm. you can let them out quite a bit so yeah lots of wiggle room all right um do 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 um, Alicia asks, are these a single run set of shoes? Um, it's a run of 200 for every color and style that you've seen. If we have top sellers, we will restock. Um, so, it, it's, for example, like we're restocking Pompadours and Frasers and Renoir and Black. The reason we did that is because we sold through those 200 pairs extremely fast. And so, you know, calculations and market research and all of that kind of super and, mathy business stuff, stuff. Um, <laughs> tells us that those are really popular shoes, and so we're going to restock them. Um, if they don't sell, we well, don't restock them. We don't restock them. Uh, here's a hint, guys: if a shoe is on sale, 
we're probably never going to restock yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it's on clearance. Well, there's two reasons we put something on clearance. Yeah. Uh, one is it just wasn't popular. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's done. Uh, the other is if we only have a few pairs left of something mm -hmm. and we're going to restock it with changes. Yes. For instance, you guys saw Renoir in black go on sale because we knew that we were going to make these changes and I needed to like get, them get rid out. of the old ones. They needed to go away off the shelf. But there were only like 10 pairs left. Yeah. Um, so you might not, it might not be that clear, but typically mm -hmm. sometimes we'll have something like Londoner in cherry. We've ordered it twice. We, you know, we restocked it. It was fabulous. Londoner in tan didn't sell. So mm -hmm. it got the ax. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so cool. if there's something that you like, I mean, my goodness, there's no guarantee we're going to have it again in the future. Mm -hmm. There's no guarantee that we're going to do that color again. Um, it is a good idea if you like something to buy it. We give things about Especially with a that year. discount. <laughs> yeah, we give things about a year to a year and a half to sell through, mm -hmm. uh, and then we make the decision if we're going to reorder it or not. Mm -hmm. If we've got a lot of stock left after a year, it goes on the chopping block. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. Something comes out, you like it, you have about a year. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right, let's go up. See. Will you ever carry a uh, size 12 in the Tissot? Unfortunately, not. We can't make size 12 right no. now. But uh, Tissots do run a little large. Yeah. So an 11 might fit between like an 11 and a half and a 12, depending yeah. on what kind of 12 you are. So it might point. be worth trying on. Well, when will you be offering the men's boots? That's a very good question. Mm, that's a good question. Uh, so we got delayed on those. Yeah. We were, we were all geared up for it and ready to go. And we we're showing samples and we we're photographing and men in the ocean. And yeah, Michael great. McCarty became Malibu Darcy. <laughs> Hashtag Malibu Darcy. And then there was some factory drama and um, business stuff. Yeah, so we had Mars was in retrograde, Mercury was in oh retrograde, God. there were eclipses this season. It Basically, was... it was a shit show up there, and... And down here! Yay! Um, <laughs> so, we've had to re, kind of like rejig the men's styles with our stable factory, the one that we've been using for seven years, and they're going to come out next spring. Yes. So I know it's a bit of a time to wait. I know. It's going to be worth it. Um, they are freaking gorgeous gorgeous yes. you're gonna love them and they all come in women's sizes too but there is a little bit of a time to wait so let's go through this season <laughs> yes. it'll be out next season trust us guys next season's really <laughs> exciting spring is exciting yeah, for us we like got we got a, some cool stuff in the we works. got a lot of stuff in the works all right what other questions uh, do we have more questions um evelyn says oh goodness uh that's why they are so small when you see originals because you're supposed to let them out yep it makes sense now thanks um for the tidbit tidbit um, I can share with the public. Yeah. yeah, that's a really good little thing um, to work mm -hmm. into your costume interpretation yes. when you are talking to the public. Um, yes. I need a bigger bank account. Don't Me we all? <laughs> okay, I think that's it for the yeah. questions. So before we go on and on and on and on and on, because we can talk forever about this stuff. Um, I like doing live casts with you. I do too. It's like we're really like we're friends. <laughs> we've actually um, just molded into one person it's kind of weird yeah we posted the same thing at the same time at this like without communicating yeah <laughs> this morning on face sorry <laughs> anyway sorry for that double post yeah um right so the essentials one more time mm -hmm. pre-orders open for everything that we showed you now uh all of the new styles have a 20 dollar discount that includes mm -hmm. tavistock even though it's not new it's new enough 2.0 it's, it's been years since we've had it um, the restock styles don't have the discount, but they are hot sellers, so don't wait for those. Through September 20th, um, you can use Easy Pay. Mm -hmm. You get free shipping over $165 for U.S. orders. You get free exchanges. You get free returns for store credit. You get like a what is it? $5.95 return shipping. $6.95. Something like that. $6.95. It's $6.95. Uh, are you sure? I'm the one that does it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you want to return them for cash. So there's really no risk. If you want to try something on and you need to exchange it, it's no big deal no so big long deal. as you're in the U.S. Mm -hmm. If you're in the EU or the U.K., order from Rags and Jags for the U.K., uh, La Rose Passament Treat for the EU. Mm -hmm. And you get to have all those jazzy EU return benefit yep. things that, that we don't do. Um, so, yeah, we had a couple questions come up. Oh gosh, you guys no, are like flying like wildfire right now. Um, so we have, can you explain the difference between the two button boots fit and style? Yeah, that's a really, really good yeah. question because um, they might look the same. They are not the same. They, but do you want to start with the toe first? Yes. Okay. Let's hold the toe up. There we go. Right. So this is a, a mid-Victorian toe shape. Mm -hmm. It's going to work for 1850s through the 1880s. You can see it's kind of soft square and mm -hmm. there's no toe box in this. It is soft and squishy. This one is pointy, and it's also welted, so it has a welted sole. Mm -hmm. um, so you can, the, 
there's the, the, the overlap stitch, there. Yeah, yeah the Whereas stitch this there. does not. Does not. So this one is later. This one's what, 1890s, 1890s 1920s? Yep. Uh, so again, like Great War stuff, um, 19 teens, Titanic era. Cool. You want to look really like freaking cool this fall with your back to school fashion. This is what's up. Button boots. Button boots. Um, so earlier? Earlier. Later. later. This has a scalloped fly. Mm -hmm. that, ooh, that shows it really That's well. That's nice. Doesn't that look it nice? looks like the dinosaur from Jurassic Park. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one has a straight fly. Yeah. So this was popular in the 1860s, 70s, 80s. Yeah. Uh, the straight fly was very popular in the Edwardian period. Mm -hmm. And last is the heel. This is a mid-Victorian knock-on heel. It doesn't have any sole that comes down the breast of the heel here. Uh, this is a reproduction off of an original. This one, is this the... That's a two-inch French heel. Yeah, just yeah. two-inch French heel. Um, and technical stuff, technical stuff. I don't <laughs> do the technical shoe history stuff. That's Lauren and Nicole. Um, breast. 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 So that's a French heel. The sole goes up and down the breast yeah. of the heel, whereas this is a knock-on. And uh, that's technical terms. That's There's no, there's mm -hmm. no sole there. Um, Awesome, excellent for mid-Victorian to 1880s bustle era. Uh, this is for late Victorian, Edwardian, early 1920s. Yeah. So that's the, that's the difference. This has a scallop top that has a straight top. So mm -hmm. subtle differences. Yes. Um, we did have a question earlier about can you wear these for the same time period. Mm -hmm. Now that kind of depends on your focus with your costuming and how uh, specific your lens is. So mm -hmm. if you had to choose between one or the other, it's a difficult choice. If you mm -hmm. do more Civil War and Bustle and early 1880s, um, you want the Renoir. If you do late 1880s, you can get away with the Tavistock with the more pointed toe, yeah. but you're really moving into mm -hmm. 1890s Edwardian Great War, mm -hmm. 1920s with that toe shape. Yes. Okay? Sweet. Hope that explained it. Um, so <laughs> awesome. Uh, we had uh, some uh, Kirsty asked if there was an update on the Kensington and colored Kensingtons. We are waiting for those shoes to show up. <laughs> Europe has theirs. So La Rosa yeah. Cemetery um, got hers and she's shipping. We're waiting for ours. Maybe they'll show up today. Wouldn't that be Maybe great? Maybe they'll show up to, I don't know. I really hope Wouldn't they show Wouldn't it be nice? As soon as possible. Um, this is more of that factory drama that we were dealing with. Um, unfortunately, so sorry, we're not going to be able to get more of those yes. colored Kensingtons. We are going to have a few pairs in each color no vegan um just a few to sell and mm -hmm. we'll let you know when we have them um, yeah but yeah i'm sorry that also means we've lost c width a width size five five and a half ten and a half and that yeah was it. that was it so um yeah. all those wonderful things that we thought that we could offer we can't yeah. anymore so we're bummed we're really bummed out about it um, yeah really really bummed but that's that's mm -hmm. a little update there thank you so much for being so patient yes. on that we know they are extraordinarily late yeah and i am doing <laughs> my businesswoman best to fix this situation yes. um so there's a whole story there that we're not gonna tell right now <laughs> okay um, um just bought theater in white thanks Lori. any chance ivory Ren renoirs will be restocked nope they didn't sell sorry yeah uh, but we might do some more colors in the future i don't know um, the 90s are in right now with the teens. Maybe the 90s granny look will come back, uh, to which your boots will be perfect. Yes, well, they we're will. into the 19 teens. Yeah. So hopefully, I mean that kind of cycles through fashion every once in a while. Get some Laura Ashley realness up in here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm into it. I just not like late 90s stuff because I oh. we went through that, and um, I'm definitely like old enough now to be like, no, those little plastic chokers and like. You don't want candy necklaces? Flared, acid wash, low rise jeans. <laughs> Anyone under the age of 30 who might be interested, I'm doing a PSA right now, interested in 90s fashion, <laughs> low rise jeans are why you get muffin tops. Permanent muffin top. They alter your body to make your tum tum bigger than your hip. Don't wear them. <laughs> but high rise mom jeans are in right now too. Yeah. So High rise. Yeah. We'll give you a tiny that. waist. Um, <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Um, I'm so tempted by Renoir, but bought some other ones instead. No worries. They're all fabulous. Yeah. You work, you, your hard work on our behalf is much appreciated. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Christy. Um, okay, I think that's it. Unless you're going to fire some more questions at us, and we're ready. You can fire, fire at us. Pew, it's fine. Pew, pew, pew. Um, we're going to sign off. Yeah. So Finish our Starbucks. Yeah, you can find us at... 
American, oh god, here's okay. another question. <laughs> <laughs> Recommendations for Louis the 15th inspired shoes. Why, yes. 14th. Uh, 14th inspired shoes. I can't read mm -hmm. Roman numerals. Pompadour. <laughs> um, so the furthest back we go is Pompadour. Um, this is about 1680 to the 1760s. It's a huge time range, mm -hmm. uh, time time frame range. Um, this is what we have Tiny, whiny for Louis stuff. the Fourteenth. Um, as far as like men's shoes, we don't make men's shoes yet, so can't help you there. Um, that's what we've got. So you can also get away with mm -hmm. wearing Fraser, but they're a little bit they're a little bit later. Yeah. Really. So this is yeah. especially with the buckle and the dog leg. They're a little bit yeah. later. Yeah. You recommendations like for the 1840s. Uh, so Sue wants to know 1840 shoes. Eliza! Eliza. Or slip Oxford. <laughs> I love Eliza. Um, 1840s had very square toes and were flat, so mm -hmm. um, no heels on 1840s shoes. Um, so as far as what we have, it's Eliza. all we have is Eliza right now, which mm -hmm. are the little houndstooth and leather fox slippers. Slip and those are super trendy for the 1840s. Yeah. And really cute, just in general. Really cute I mean, too. like some wide-legged pants, guys, and like an Eliza. I That's like really em. good. I like them. Okay, for realties, you can find us at www.americanduchess.com. <laughs> just americanduchess.com. Https colon backslash backslash americanduchess.com. That's where you can order all this stuff. Yes. We're here on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I assume you can find us because you have mm -hmm. Instagram. We're at American Duchess. Mm -hmm. We're on YouTube. We're on yes. Pinterest. Blog.americanduchess.com. Oh, we have a blog? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That. Um, yeah, and if you have any questions, you can email mm -hmm. us, info at americanduchess. Yeah. Com. And just a plug for our podcast. We got a, we put a new podcast episode out last week uh, with Carolyn uh, Dowdell of the Modern Mantua Maker. Dr. Carolyn. Dr. Carolyn. Yeah. Um, and she talked about really cool stuff about uh, 18th century dress um, alterations. alterations and yeah. mending and how the Victorians ruined everything. Uh <laughs> Um, and except boots. Except boots. <laughs> except sexy boots. Because um, we all know they were actually like freaks in real life. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, you can check out our podcast on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, um, TuneIn, uh, SoundCloud. Lauren blogged about it. We have it posted somewhere on our Facebook page as well. Uh, go ahead and give that a listen if you haven't yet as well. Because yeah. it's like Carolyn needs some love. Because that was a really awesome episode. It was really cool. Anyway, yeah. we love you guys. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.